as you can see here, down here in the copyright, Fido S. So it's made possible by them. So it's based on them. As you can see, I'm running this on my Raspberry Pi project, my Raspberry Pi computer, 400. Raspberry Pi 400, along with Fido S. So why would you use Fido S over Chrome OS? First of all, Fido S is a free download and install to hardware of your own choosing, like my Raspberry Pi 400. Google Chrome OS comes pre-installed to manufacture hardware with little to no customization. I do own a Lenovo IdeaPad Duet Chromebook. Are you enthusiasts of experimenting of OSs? Like Windows, Linux distributions such as Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, and more? You can put it in your own personal hardware to use as you choose, like a desktop, a laptop, laptop, and such as the single board computers that like Raspberry Pis. So like Chrome OS, Fide OS has pros and cons. But that's not to say you can't do much with your Fido S and your Raspberry Pi 400 together. You must be online, just like a Chromebook, unless you're saving documents for offline use, you must be online. A traditional system, you don't have to be online to do an application such as Word, but then you have to purchase and buy and own that Word application. So it depends. Install desktop programs. With a traditional system, yes. With Fido OS and Chrome OS, once again, it depends. So like, they need to be available in the Chrome Web Store. So let me show you. So this here is available in my Chrome Web Store. Zoom. As you can see, I've already, it's logging in. Um, I could start a meeting if I had a webcam, or it would just be audio for right now. Future purpose, webcam for Zoom. On my Fido OS with my Raspberry Pi 400. And another web app from the Chrome Web Store. This here down on the right, a little calendar clock with the world clock. You can add more world clocks if you want to. Offline apps like Google Docs. So yes, I have access, after you set it up, to Android applications. Test and Word on my Fido OS. So this is the Android version of Word.
and I am loving it so far. Now I can use Word Online or I can still use the Android app. And yes, this is connected to an ultra widescreen monitor that Fido S puts out for my Raspberry Pi 400. So on a traditional system, no, you cannot install Android apps without going through some hoops. And who would want to do that unless you're a developer on a traditional Windows or Mac system? Install Linux apps. So I have enabled it. Linux beta on my Fido S. So as you can see, it's enabled, and I have 25 gigabytes set aside for it. And in my Linux apps that I have installed so far, it's just a terminal and a discover. So with Fido S, I can do not only Android applications, but Linux application as well. The traditional system, unless it's a Linux distro, or you run in a virtual box or some kind of VMware, no, you're not going to get Linux apps on your system. So, with Fido S on my SD card from my Raspberry Pi 400, I found that I could eject it, the SD card, after I power everything off, of course, and put it in my Raspberry Pi 4B with four gigabytes of RAM, and it will still work. I've tried it with my eight gigabyte RAM of uh, my Raspberry Pi 4B, and it would not boot completely. It would stall out. So it is kind of portable in that sense that if I put it in my Raspberry Pi 4B with four gigabytes of RAM and connect it to my next stock, I then have a portable cloud computer. Laptop. A FIDE laptop instead of a Chromebook. FIDE book. Ah, yeah, a FIDE book. So I've tried many Linux distros with my Raspberry Pis. So far, FIDE OS is the best that I've found and most stable and dependable OS for my Raspberry Pi 400. And yes, as you can see, let me go back to the settings here. So, additional details. There is a thing that's not what I'm looking for. Here we go. So Fido S subscription information so yes there's a free version you don't pay for the subscription 
I don't know what you're going to get. You do pay for the subscription, which is $12.99 annually. I have all the Android apps working that are that can be supported, that Android Play Store says is supported. And I get the Linux app beta supported and working. And as you can see, I can install many other Chrome applications. As you can see, I installed Zoom and had Zoom working. So a five book, five box with the Raspberry Pi 400. You can do much. Thank you.